Today we're going to be looking at the vine. This is an image, a central image that Jesus uses in John 15. I really think it's the heart of the whole gospel. And so um, the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to draw a picture of a hand. This picture represents God the Father, because really the vine is all about the Father, because Jesus said the Father is the vine dresser. And so we're going to put inside of the Father's fingers a seed, and the Father plants this seed, which is the kingdom of God, into the soil. And then the sun comes out, and, and the rain gives the energy, and this vine grows. And then the Father sets guide wires up. You know, the Father is working all along the way to help this vine grow. Eventually the vine grows, and the sun comes, and the rain comes, and blossoms come, and the fruit is born on the vine. Sometimes the Father has to prune and take off some branches. But here we have this picture of growth and vitality. And what we really have going on here in John 15 is this picture of the Trinity. We have the Father and we have the Son, Jesus, who is the vine, which is really this picture of Israel. It's a carryover from the Old Testament. But then we have the Spirit everywhere. The Spirit is the sun. The Spirit is the rain. As the rain falls down onto the vine, giving life and water and baptism, if you will, the Spirit soaks down into the roots and the Spirit then becomes the actual sap that grows up through the vine and out through the branches and to the clusters of fruit. And really what this is about is how disciples make fruit of the Spirit. And the, the, the sap comes out into the fruit and it's really God's love. That's the purpose of the whole vine. It's really about making wine, the wine of God's love. Because what God the Father wants to do is he wants the whole world to know about God's love. And so we see we have the world over here that is looking at the vine. And the overflow of the vine is God's love making the world happy with the love of God. That is the whole purpose and that's the beauty of this. And so this is the overflow of the vine into the world and that's the point of discipleship so let's look at this thing about being a disciple what how do we do this how do we be in the vine a lot of times we think that it's our job to produce the fruit of the spirit but that's not it at all our job is to focus on being connected to the sun to the vine our relationship with jesus is what it's all about because all of throughout john 15 jesus says uh, two key words. He says, remain in me and I will remain in you. Abide in me and I will abide in you. And all throughout John 15, uh, John 13 through 17, we have this indwelling of God. What the Greek word is the perichoresis. We have the Father indwelling the Son. We have the Father and the Spirit indwelling one another and the Spirit indwelling the Son and the Spirit which is flowing through all of it, and the Son indwelling and abiding in the disciples, which is the overflow of God's love as we indwell the world, and the Spirit indwells the world, and it's all flowing together. It's interconnected. It's what we call perichoretic power. It is the power of God's love in communion with the world. 